Let's talk now about identifying those patients using the ASAP guidelines that we might want to outreach because they're overdue for screening maneuvers. And this is where the query builder becomes very specific to the clinic um, or the database that you are looking to pull information out of. So I'm going to show you an example of a very lengthy query that I built with the help of Dr. Kim Mosierchuk at our clinic. And to give you an idea of all the different areas we had to think about where this data might be stored. So if you're starting a new clinic up and you are looking at um, saving your data, it, this is an example of why standardized data capture is so important. But when you are, are searching, again, you're going to want to start with active. Next we said we want to see patients who are female um, in their sex and so obviously that is in the demographics as well. Uh, sex is the same as gender. And then we went through and we said okay where are all the different possible names that this lab result has ever been called and where are all the different possible places we've sorted in the past in our EMR, our previous EMR, our current EMR. And we use this advanced logic. So if you click on this little gear box here you can toggle use advanced logic this is also where you can edit which default um, fields display on the result that prints out. Um, so I've checked off Use Advanced Logic and now when I click the pencil over here I'm able to edit how Acuro is searching and when we put brackets around a group and separate each line you'll see that each line in my rule, each rule has its own number. So this is called um, exclusive ORs and this allows us to say I don't want a patient with all of these things but I want you to find me if they have even one of them so we start with a bracket and we put the word OR between all of the rules that we wanted to search for and we want them to check for that they don't have anything in lab and we want them to check that the gender is female and we want them to check that the status is active and that's where the and works out. So play around with that advanced logic when you are building queries to identify outreach patients. This is where you have to get a bit creative with thinking back to where those unique identifiers have been stored in the chart and always, always do your tests. So start with your full panel, then see how many females they are, and slowly work down rule by rule, marking down the numbers and doing the math. So if we say there are 100 females and 30 come out as being due for a PAP, when you run the reverse rule, it should come out the opposite amount of 70, for example.